What's up guys? So we just got this Osaki massage chair. It came in this big box. They just delivered it on the porch. And basically we are just going to unbox this and show you what it looks inside and bring it into the house. Um, so you guys can see what comes inside the box uh, and what we have to do to install it and the easiest way to get it out of the box and into wherever you need to inside the house. Alright, so here's what we got so far. Here's our chair. Yeah, so the bottom isn't even taped here. So... We actually just need to cut the green straps and then lift the top of the box up. So next, it took us some time to figure out how to move everything, but to summarize, we removed the top bag containing the foot extender and other little things like the hardware, manual, and remote. Now this was pretty heavy, so be careful with that. Then we removed the big styrofoam sides and the plastic wrap on the main chair, then cut the front of the base of the box open to allow the chair to easily roll out on its back wheels, which I'll show in more detail in the next clip. So this was not as hard as I thought. So there's a wheel back here. And then you can either rest the chair like vertically like this when you need to, and then just tip it down and roll it on two wheels and then I can just slide it in. And then hopefully we can just slide it into the corner there where we're gonna put it in our living room. So you can see here, it's pretty easy to maneuver the chair, balancing it on the back wheels, but we had to pull up our rug because it doesn't roll well on that. There's our prong cord. And let's take this out. Manual. And two fuses, two cotter pen thingies, and two plastic washers in here. And here's our remote that we unwrapped from the styrofoam plug. So here it says, before install, make sure to take the cable tie off. So we'll unscrew that. All right, and here's our foot part. Okay, so we found the instructions for installing the calf on page 17 here. Um, so we had to remove the cotter pin from here with the pliers. And now we have to align these up on there. Now, I don't think it fits. It's that easy to get it to fit on. Okay, so we need to get these two loops into there and there but it's a tight squeeze to get it on so i just watched the official Osaki video on installing this they made it seem really easy just snapping everything together with their hands you can see we definitely had some difficulty hanging the calf extender and sliding the cotter pins in which you'll see in the next few clips okay you can see we got it on it was not that easy basically we just um Got this side on, pushed the whole thing with some force this way. That flexed this part, and that's what it was, what allowed us to get slide this side on. Um, now we're gonna put the cotter pin back in these two spots here. So we're just gonna slide this pin in. And then over here. 
So the second side was not aligned up, so we actually had to manipulate it to get the pin to go in. Plastic washer, and we had to to spin it so that uh, we can get the cotter pin through this spot and this spot. So we had to rotate the washer so that like the part, the longer part is here, um, which was a little tricky, but we had to pull this out and turn it. Okay, so now I think we can slide this in easily. All right, so now, now we're just plugging in the wire there by reaching under. So there's an electrical connector and this vacuum tube thing. It's a little hard to reach under there, so it's probably better to do this before you connect this. But it's honestly, it was a little, it'd be a little hard to connect this because this was so difficult while that like why while, while it's attached with the wire so you can kind of reach under there and do it it's just not that easy all right now we're going to plug in our power cord which seems to be down here oh. Seems like the plug for our remote goes down here too. Right here. Okay. Well, so does it work? All right, who's gonna get to try it first? It's a little big for you there. All right, so that's going to be it for this unboxing of the Osaka 8500 and install. Um, overall, moving it was a lot easier than I thought, and it came pretty assembled, but definitely installing the calf, the foot thing, was harder than we expected. But overall, it just took us like 30 minutes to an hour or so, and uh, maybe we're just dumb on that and you can do a lot faster. Uh, so that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.